What's up, guys? It's your boy Rad Scream. So, um, I've had a bunch of people asking me about how to get extra soccer balls. So, if you want to go ahead and start your soccer quest. Um, I know a lot of you guys know this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it anyways. Um, now the way I did it, that's what they were asking is how I got it. I went ahead and built one of these cross things like I used to get the cakes from the gingerbreads. So, uh, you gotta start the quest first, and when you come over here, you're gonna need to build a little platform to put that uh, soccer ball on. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. We'll go ahead and use gold because it's gonna be strong. Alright, now after you get your platform built, you're going to need to put a little ramp on there so that the soccer ball can get pulled up a little bit easier. Um, and after you put your ramp down, we're going to use harpoons to bring the soccer ball over. Now, it depends where you build it on how you need to place your harpoons. Um, I already had one built, so I've got to drag it over towards the center first. And then once I line it up with where my ramp is, I can go ahead and use another harpoon to just pull it straight on board. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so now we're gonna grab this and bring it up here on the platform. Now there's plenty of other ways to do this, but this is just the easiest way I found. Um, so, grab one more hard thing, got to pull it a little bit closer. Now once you get the soccer ball in a good place where it's kind of close to the middle of this, you're going to want to build walls up around it. Um, so, while it's rolling, you're going to want to go ahead and put a few blocks down. I'm going to use bricks for this because it really doesn't matter what you use, but you want to use something strong. Alright, so now after you build it up, you're going to need to put a roof on it. You want to fully encase the soccer ball. If you don't have it fully encased, it can bounce out. Um, so if you just try to put like a, one or two straps of blocks around it, it's just going to fly out of you. So make sure you cover it completely on all sides. And then uh, you can go ahead and delete your ramps. So now, as you can see, I've got the soccer ball inside of this giant box that's on my X. So I'm going to run around. We have a pilot seat put on here, one of the plane seats. that's going to let you control the movement of this uh, big cross, big T-shape, X-shape, whatever you want to call it. So you can sail or you can clear the blocks underneath. Once you get it upright, just start rolling it like a wheel going down to the end. And if you keep it steady and the... Uh, just keep going in a straight direction, you should be all right. Now you want to make sure you go uh, around the obstacles. You don't want to get it destroyed along the way. So just keep going until you get to the beach, and then that's where the actual hard part starts, because on the beach, more like the time-consuming part. All right, now that you've got it on the beach, it will take forever to slowly push this giant ball to the treasure chest. So you just keep going and keep going, jumping into it. Um, now, when you do this, you're going to get awesome rewards. Um, you're going to get 3,000 gold and you're going to get 10 soccer balls. So this is definitely worth doing. You can only do it once. And when you do it, as you'll see right there, 10 soccer balls and 3,000 volts. So it's definitely worth taking the time. So thanks for watching, guys. Click subscribe, click like. Till next time, peace.